Hey guys, it is Friday, December 6th, and my second tutorial for the day, and we will be going over the Sony Channel Blend effect in Sony Vegas. This one's a little bit confusing, so let's get right into it. Let's open up Sony Vegas. And as usual, go to go and import your footage, adjust if you need it, and go and now let's go ahead and click the video effects icon in the bottom right hand corner and if you hover over it you will see that it says event effects so click on that and here are your effects and let's go down and find channel blend add and click ok and then you see this thing pops up and you might see that it's very confusing because there's no nothing there that you're really familiar with Besides the fact that you see that it says red, green, blue, and alpha. And in case you're not familiar, alpha is a blend of all the colors. So this pretty much adjusts how the each individual color is blended into your video. So if you notice, here we have the red. So we have all these little, we have all these boxes. And so if you went over here and increased the red, you would notice that the red increases. But I'm just going to bring this back down to default, and by default it is 1.0. And if I went down to the green and increased the green, you would easily see that the green increases. And by default the green is 0. Next we have the blue, and if I increase the blue, you see that the blue increases. But I'm going to keep that down at default of 0. And if I increase the alpha, you won't see anything, but the alpha is increasing. You don't see anything because the alpha is a blend of all the colors. So when you increase the alpha, you're evenly increasing all of the colors. So that's the first column here. Then you have this next column of red. Still increases the red, but you know if you want to, you can always play around with that. How we have the red right here. If you increase it, you see very red. If you decrease it, it gets a little bit more blue. So if you wanted to increase it, then if you decrease the second one, a little bit more blue. And all these columns are around red, or red's negative, which would be blue in this case. So if you play around with all these columns, you will um, you can find a color you would like. However, I'm not sh quite sure why you would, might need this effect unless you wanted to create let's say sort of a night vision effect with everything maybe being green or something but you know if or if you needed to just make your video look a color you can easily use this I'm gonna set everything back to default and instead of re um, changing each number back to zero I'm gonna go up here and click this down arrow and click default and it's back to default and you will see the everything in the red row will adjust the red. Everything in the green row will adjust the green. Everything in the blue row will adjust the blue. And everything in the alpha row will adjust the alpha or all the colors. And then you still have this color space here. And RGBA stands for R red, green, blue, alpha, which is what we're, we're familiar with. But you also have HSLA. HSLA stands for Hue, Saturation, Lightness, and Alpha. And you might notice that your video preview becomes black. That's just because this is, you, I might say, not a very common um, thing, you, way of color you should probably do. Stick more to the RGBA. It is default, and a lot more stuff is familiar with this. Because HSLA is confusing, and I'm not going to go over that. Because I want um, you guys to stick with the RGBA, which will make, which is a lot easier. Uh, whoops, what just happened? Let me go back to default, and there we go. Everything's back the same way it was. And normalize rows, you don't need to worry about that. It just, let's say, your rows are a little off. Click them to normalize. It just sort of makes it, gives it back that more of a um, normal effect, because if it was way up. Because if I add that off and it was way up, you see it does what it can to sort of normalize everything out so it's closer to normal. Anyway, guys, so 
hopefully you understood it. If you have any um, questions about this for any further, please email me at ad.videoeditor at gmail.com. You can find my email on my YouTube channel. You can find my email on my Google Plus page. You can probably find my email in the description of this video. So please, any questions about this, like you want to use this effect but you're not quite sure, um, email me because I don't want to go much further in depth with this effect. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Please continue to watch my tutorials for the rest of the month. And please subscribe and like and comment and tell all your friends about this. And please, sure, please be sure to watch every single one like a dozen times. Get the views up, subscribe, and you, you guys know what benefits you'll get by watching a lot and subscribing. I don't think I need to remind you anymore, but if I must remind you, if I can get 300 views, then you guys might, then you guys will get to see how to get Sony Vegas Pro for free. And if I can get 100 subscribers, I will show you guys how to get new blue effects for free so th once again thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow